YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe for more thought-provoking content like this. Click the bell icon button. So, as I reported, or as I posted, um, yes, I was involved in a little bit of a accident, semi-accident, freak accident. I ended up popping my shoulder out. It ended up going like forward and all this other stuff. I was doing the simplest things. It's been a thing since I was born <laughs> or since I actually was in football when I was actually a player in high school. And my shoulder pops out, you know, it pops out like a person takes a breath. So I appreciate all the, uh, all the accolades, the respect, um, the care, whatever you call it. I appreciate that. All the wishing. That's pretty, that's pretty darn sweet. You know, um, today I'm going to throw out some videos, man. I, I just, I, I'm one of those people. I gotta, I gotta get to the content. So, uh, expect four or five videos throughout, you know, weird hours of the night premieres. We gotta get, we gotta get caught up. It's the off season, baby. It's the off season. This is oldie, buddy, goody. Um, the Detroit Lions uniforms. This is actually something I'm revisiting. Uh, uniforms revisited should be the title of this. I did a uniform video probably in August of last year, and it was a tremendous video. It it did so well. Uh, I think it's at 1.6, and people still go back to it because that is the topic of discussion a lot of times uh, during the Super Bowl, before the Super Bowl. All that people want to see the uniforms now honestly let's look at it from a, 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 a child's perspective okay I'm explain it to you like a six-year-old I love y'all my viewers are the smartest viewers in the world but I'm gonna explain it to you like the six-year-old the Detroit Lions have got to this offseason figure out the second uniform as y'all know the the second helmet rule is started for next season, meaning that teams can have two helmets, uh, which most teams are going to have throwbacks. Atlanta Falcons already said, look, if you're going to give us two helmets, we're going to have our throwback uniforms on one helmet. And that helmet will have a whole, I'm going to say, uniform scheme of a throwback. And then there are other teams like the Patriots that's kind of expected. It's going to add something new, fresh, and fun. There are other teams that are getting uh, a whole totally new wardrobe. You know, uh, we've seen the Washington Commanders just recently. Um, you know, they have the black, the black helmets with the yellow words, yellow font, um, the red obviously in the and the white and the red and the white is their home away and then they have the second the uh second alternate and that's a way to do it that is typically a way to do it uh, if you don't see it in the actual you know video here it is right here i foresee that the detroit lions are going to be kind of lazy right now there's a lot of moving parts with detroit lions you got a head coach um, going in the second year, he just gave, we don't know if he's going to give play calling duties away. We got a, a front office right now at 23 million in cap space up to 40 million in cap space. Uh, just signed, re, uh, Jason Cabenda. This is a big off season for Detroit lions, especially scouting wise. So they're going to put this off. This is not going to be a thing until probably August or, um, early June. July when we get to OTAs uh, the only reason I'm jumping on it is to revisit it again and I think that the Lions are best fit the, the Lions best fit to me is probably a black uniform you know I'm, I'm looking a little partial a little impartial now because I I, I I used to say I hate the jerseys and this then the third I used to hate them but I'm actually I'm, I'm all right with the gray jerseys I'm kind of I'm, I'm, I'm kind of okay with the idea of a throwback, Barry Sanders throwback, a, a Benny Blaze throwback. I'm okay with that idea. I'm okay with that because those, you know, that's, that's a simple way to do it. 
Now, if you want a complete overhaul and you want to make black the, you want a whole redesign, which the Lions are up for. You know, the Lions first, you have the rule which says, hey, you can have two helmets and you can have a whole different helmet, different uniform. And But the Lions are also up for a uniform update, so they might as well revamp. But this offseason is just so important. This offseason is just so chaotic. You had the Senior Bowl. You had you you got the uh, HBCU Bowl coming up, the Legacy Bowl. You just had the uh, NFL PA Bowl as well as the East-West Shrine Game. You have evaluation. And these next two months, February and March included, and April, let's include April in that. The next three months are very pivotal and vital to the development of this team. So again, this is a premature video, but it's, it's worth discussing. When we look at the team currently, they need a reclamation project. You know, Stafford just won a Super Bowl, and I think I'm, I'm taking it a little easier, even though I was a Stafford detractor, and I was talking about the last 12 years of the season and the media attention of him going to LA and being called a savior and all this other stuff. Y'all held me accountable for Stafford. And I think Stafford success is going to hold the current regime and the ownership accountable for success. What do I mean by that? Stafford winning the Super Bowl along with Cliff Averill, Adama Katsu, uh, Ashawn Robinson, others, is basically an indictment on the Fords. When you really think about it, teams, free agents, draftees, whoever, is going to look at this team like, what the fuck? You had a Super Bowl winning quarterback. What did, what makes sense? What did you not do? Did you not put weapons around them? It's an indictment on the ownership. It's an indictment on the whole franchise. So the franchise has to have a fresh new look with a fresh new regime and a, a fresh new take on it. I look for them to be on hard knocks. I look for them to reclaim something in their future. I look for them to try, try to garner league respect because, again, Stafford winning is a huge risk. There's a risk to it. Now, I'm happy for Stafford winning a Super Bowl. I, I said I was one of the first people to say he's going to 32 uh, you know, after he beat the Bucks, I seen no no competition after that. So um, I'm I'm just I'm just I'd be remiss if I say that you know it's not an indictment. It's an indictment. And one thing to one thing to liberate the fan base is jerseys, jersey sales, new jerseys that can liberate a whole fan base. Um, we see Swift in the black and blue. We see the throwbacks. You can easily get excited for a team around August or September or around August or July when they got a fresh new look, had a glorious offseason, and they can do something. Now, one thing I, I really heavily advise is that the Lions do not, please do not, make those A.J. Wright throwback turkey day jerseys the main jerseys i am highly against that that is a joke i do not like that my wife is currently laughing at that because she knows it is a joke all right the lions in a complete redesign a thorough rebrand and if you get a malik willis in a draft or you get whatever in a draft you can rebrand around a whole different player that's another thing y'all not thinking if you get a defensive stud like Aiden Hutchinson, for example, or Kyle Hamilton. Just imagine that poster with the black and blue jerseys. Just imagine that, oh, we got we coming out with the throwbacks. You guys will buy that shit up. I might as well sell t-shirts. I might as well post that, sell t-shirts, make a poster. Uh, matter of fact, I think I just came up with how I'm going to have a second income. Uh, we're going to revisit this. I'm going to keep you all up to date with the jerseys because I think this is going to be a huge story, especially in Detroit. And again, look for a total redesign. I think they might as well do a total redesign because they need to disconnect from anything Matt Patricia touched, was a part of, or was connected to. This is uh, Avery Giovanni with a quick video. Um, special special shout out to um, Gilbert Botello. Gridiron Blitz, Everything King, Man Beast Morris, YouTube Family. Shout out to all y'all, man. Micro Mike, uh, Mark Orm, Orm's Form. Shout out to the Den. 
Shout out to Van Horn and his crazy beliefs. Shout out to Dosa Dion. Just shout out to everybody who's, you know, influential in this thing here. God bless y'all. Love y'all.